Hello, Michelle here from Whimsy Chic Paper Crafts, etc. How are you today? Today I'm going to make a four inch box using my Fiskars gifting board and Momenta doilies paper and stickers. Just lining up the paper and explaining right here where I skipped step three. So the video I had posted previously on making these boxes, I completely skipped step three. I was still able to make the box, but it's much easier to fold in the corners, sides, when you um, remember to score step three. Score line three. And right here I'm talking about the stickers and the doilies. I did decide later in the video that I was going to use mermaid stickers instead. Memento makes a very cute stickers. I am an abandoned brass a band. I'm a brand excuse me, a brand ambassador for them. And I really enjoy their stickers and paper. A lot of cute uh, bling and oiling and wooden stickers and cork stickers. Lots going on, cute things. Okay, so I'm setting that aside. Cute um, watercolor wash on those doilies. Alright. Just gonna talk a little bit about the settings. So for the four inch box, you're gonna want that width and that height, that four inches. And then that will tell you your paper size, which is 12 by 12 for a four inch box. So I didn't even have to cut the paper. All right, so I'm lining it up. And punch. And then I'm gonna grab my stylus and I'm gonna score score line one, and score line two, and score line three. Wanted to make another video because that first one, I completely skipped that step. So I'm gonna turn my paper and punch. And score line one. And score line two. I like to sometimes take a peek to make sure I'm on the I'm all lined up. this step all the way around on all four corners and score line two and score line three okay one to go on this side score line one punch, score line two, and score line three. Okay, so you're going to want to turn around the, um, I'm now turning around the paper. And I'm not going to score on this side, I'm just going to punch. So punch, okay. turn, 
line up the paper and punch and just repeat on all four sides very easy okay I have one more step to do first I'm going to fold up my score lines I like scoring and folding. It's kind of relaxing to me. Anybody else like to do that? Something find um, scoring relaxing. You can see um, the box forming. Okay. So now I need to um, bring back over my um, gifting board and put the put it in the punch lock lock punch. And that will create the latches that close the box. It's kind of need that little punches. Um, it's a three in one board, and so is the punch. Now I am getting ready to fold it up, clean up those scraps, so you can see now where that, right now I'm folding in that third score line that I completely skipped, and this time remembered, and it's so much easier. The box folds better too if you have that in there. You could do it by hand, I obviously did, but it's so much easier to do it with the score line in the book already there for you to follow. <clears throat> so, it's taking shape kind of like a coin purse, latching it. This part's tricky for me. Okay, sorry for the interruption. I'm continuing closing up the box. As I was saying, this um, step is a little bit tricky for me, but once you get it, it stays in place. And you can also put a s decorative um, sticker or embellishment like I am going to create. Sometimes it just do um, have to see what side wants to fold in and the weight of the bottom sort of tugs on it but once you get it it stays <clears throat> I'm fumbly too I've got um I always joke that my fingers are big for delicate work. <laughs> it really isn't that hard. It's just me. So I'm deciding now that I want to try the other direction. See which side wants to go first. All right. <laughs> the boxes together. Okay, so now I'm going to break out my doilies and I'm going to decide, kind of going over, um, do I want to go complimentary or alright just deciding, so that would be the opposite side of the color wheel and then those would be on the cool side, close by. I just go back and forth on this one until I decide which one I want to use. And this is also when I change my mind about the stickers. And I decide to use the Mermaid Puffy Stickers by Mementa. I love the washes on these doilies. And then they also have um, little foil dots. So I decide to go with 
a cool tone of purple. I'm still playing around, still thinking about it. Oh, I guess I changed my mind again. I'm going with something very similar to the paper that is on the um, box. And now I'm grabbing um, the mermaid stickers, deciding that those are just too good with it. So I'm going to go with those. I really didn't have this planned out at all. I just decided to um, decorate spontaneously. I love these stickers. They've got a squish to them. I like to squeeze them. So I'm going to go with that, um, the centerpieces, cute little mer lady. First I'm going to put that, um, beautiful down because it's really, it's really, um, chunky and sp takes up space. So I decided to go ahead and lay that down first and then design around it. Put her there, pop her down there. from the sticker sheet they're kind of laid out on the um, they come laid out um, in a very pleasing pairing pattern so I just picked from the center I'm just kind of talking about that that it feels like when they mark it they do that on purpose you know put it down in a pleasing way sparks my imagination so I'm just putting little fishies and stars around the beautiful mermaid a starfish with her and put the fishy right there and then pop that on the box and how cute and then I decide that um, if I layered them that would give it another pop of color underneath because you can see um, Oops, there, that box is going to give me a... <laughs> now, when you're making this, you can pop a circle sticker um, or glue those together. So once that, my embellishment is on there holding it together, it's not going to do that. So, I'm liking that. But of course I have to play to make sure. That's how I design. I just keep um, pairing and Comparing and comparing. So that's box one. Just sort of playing with it until 
I like it. Okay, so now I'm going to start my second box. I'm using the same materials, memento papers, stickers, and doily. And this is just going to be a repeat of the first box. I'm going to try to speed up this section of the video. until I get to the sticker. Okay, so now I am designing with the stickers. Putting um, my mermaid down, deciding that the scene needs to go first. So I have adequate room. Love how squishy these are. Just a 
again. Um, this time I'm going to put a little seahorse. I like underwater scenes. It's like some mermaids and little sea creatures. It's like they're all friends. And then this is kind of funny. This little white thing is the um, numbers. And I realized that it's, I thought it was a little shell, but it's um, numbers. So I end up putting a little star there. So there's my second embellishment for my box top. Perfect for a little girly gift, or a big girly gift, super cute. I really liked how this, um, this is the Brights pad, Memento Brights pad, and it's got, it's double sided, and it's got really cool designs, and it's textured, love that cardstock, it worked out really well for the boxes. pop that on there and um, I hope you enjoyed my video and I always appreciate likes and follows I just um, felt I needed to make another box video so I could show that third score line turning the box I just really like the way these look thank you for watching Michelle have a lovely day